Make sure your child's feeding tube is in the right place. Generally, correct tube placement must be confirmed before each intermittent feeding. When feeding continuously, placement should be confirmed every four to six hours or as directed by your child's health care professional. There are several ways to confirm tube placement. Because no one method is foolproof, always use two methods each time. We will discuss the two most common methods of placement confirmation used by patients at home. It is important to follow any specific instructions provided to you by your child's health care professional. You can confirm placement of a gastric tube by checking the fluids drawn out of the stomach. Begin by connecting a clean 30 milliliter syringe to your child's feeding tube. Slowly pull the plunger back until you've withdrawn a small amount of fluid from the stomach. As a visual check, the fluid should look like formula or be mostly clear to slightly yellow. This indicates that the fluid is probably stomach contents and that the tube is in place. To confirm placement of standard G-tube and J-tubes, measure the distance from the skin to the end of the tube. When the tube is first placed, record this distance and refer to it every time you check tube placement. Always compare the measurement you take with the number recorded after the tube was first placed. If there's a difference in this measurement, you should contact your child's health care professional before giving the feeding. Whichever method you use to confirm tube placement, if the feeding tube is not in the right place, do not feed. Call your child's health care professional right away. Ask your child's health care professional how to confirm placement of low-profile tubes. Do not use the tube and do not feed if it looks like the tube has come part way out. Call your child's health care professional for instructions on how to proceed. It is important to properly position your child while they are receiving their tube feeding. Proper positioning will help reduce your child's risk of breathing or aspirating formula into the lungs, which can cause serious problems. An older child can sit in a chair or high chair, or be propped up on a couch in a half-sitting position, at least a 30-degree angle. If you feed your child in bed, place rolled blankets under the mattress to raise the head of the bed 6 to 8 inches, 30 to 45 degrees. Lay your child on his or her right side. Stop feeding if your child cries. Start again when your child is quiet and calm. Keep your child in a raised position for at least one hour after the feeding. Lying flat may cause coughing and or vomiting. What not to do? Do not give a feeding while your child is lying flat. With an infant, try holding your young child as if you were providing a bottle. 